Hello and welcome back to the goalie be a loser because that's all we've done so far. Thankfully, we do have Connor Ingram and he's been unbelievable. So our record is 9-7-1, which is decent. We are in here against Washington. So let's see if we can take home our first dub. We have to get it in this video, at least. We have to hope that Ovi doesn't snipe eight goals on us during the simulation, which very well could happen. But it'd be great if it didn't. Let's go Utah Hockey Club. First period, 1-1 and it was Strom, not Ovi. Second period. I'm just gonna skip this game. Third period. It... No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna jump in and make us lose. I have to be in there if we get our first win. Okay, fine. I tried to see if there was a way to turn tethering off from the main be a pro screen because on the main main screen, it was fine. But for some reason, as soon as I come to be a pro, so close. That is a spectacular save. Yeah, it's all fine and dandy. Come to be a pro, jump in the first game, and all of a sudden we're being tethered again. Kepler almost had one. That is... No, you could have walked out, gone cross crease, easy glitch goal. Come on now. You know what? I'm not going to call that a glitch goal. Real life, that's probably going in. I thought he wasn't going to play it, and I was going to freak out. Schmaltzy and Keller. Yeah, let's just cut it the blue line. That seems like a great play. Breakaway. You know what that means. You know what that means. That could have backfired really bad, but it didn't. Send him. Yes, 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 yes. Clayton. 40 seconds left. Close it out. Can we do some breakaway training in practice? I think we could use it. Clean draw win by Cooley, but unfortunately, Mangiapane has a tree for a stick, apparently. Excellent save yet again. Can we score here, though? I like the pressure we're putting out. We're setting up nicely. Okay. Whoa. That was a howitzer. And we might get a shot here. It's hard to say. Dubois behind the net. Is he going to go? He does, but it doesn't amount to anything because the period ended. Really not a fan of these. I'll keep it real with you. We got Ovi first up. You know what? I'm going to do no flying poke checks. I stayed with him. I really did. Clayton Keller. Had like three breakaways in overtime. Has a penalty shot. No dice. What's up, Stromy? Here we go. Yeah. All right. We saved one without a flying poke check. That is a milestone, to say the least. Is this Schmaltz? I think so. Have to save this to keep it going. Don't like our chances here. John Carlson. Come on, John. Okay. And to keep it going, we have Michelli, and he fails to do so. Another L. At least we aren't pointless. We do have two points with those overtime losses, so that's got to count for something, right? All we need is a TSN turning point, you know? Just one big save or something, and this whole ship turning around. I know, I'm sorry, coach. I'm trying my best here, and it's just not good enough. Hey, no need to make me make promises. I could be diplomatic or something, right? And they put us in net against the third place pity pens. That is an all-time decision right there. Maybe we'll pull it off. That would be crazy. Let's get the simulation started here. Utah Hawks. Hockey Club, Pity Pens, first period is a 2-1 game in favor of the Penguins. But after the second period, it is a 4-1 game. This is fun. I'm having fun. Honestly. Second or third, I just, I, yeah. Anyway. I have loved the way the youngster has played. He's been... You have. So far. I, I really... I, I, I haven't. Far exceeded my expectations from what I thought I would see this year. But I'll tell you what. They must have had low expectations. And then they choose to put me in against McDavid. Which, why is this team struggling so bad? 10, 11, and 1. To be fair, they did start the last season very miserably. And absolutely rocket launched out of nowhere. All I'm asking for is like a two goal game here. So we can at least jump into this one. 3 nothing. Okay. Well, no. Not happening. 6-3. We're doing awesome. So remember last episode when I said there's only one way to go from here and that's up? think I was lying. I at least wouldn't say that we're going down any further. We're sort of just, you know, riding that fine line. Buffalo Sabres. This should be a good one. 2 nothing. 3-1. All right, we'll give it a go. New challenge idea. Go the entirety of the first year without a single win. And see if we remain in the NHL the entire time. Yes, sir. 
That was a little pop fly. And I think it probably rode the goaltenders back into the net. It's the only possible way I could see that working out. Clayton Keller. Guy's probably putting up points, no? Oh, remember, we saw that he didn't have a single goal. He might have got one in this video already. But, yeah. Goaltender can't really do anything there, except for maybe if he stood up, would have saved it. But it's not like you can hit the button to just swing your stick around or pop up and glove it. We're in business here. Less than a minute in, we cut the lead down to one. Tons of hockey left. We could... Be that was a missile. Clayton. Trying to do it all himself. He had three guys on him, and he was like, no, I got this. Okay, so we definitely, we definitely went lower. I think from here, it's pretty tough to go downhill. Just let me make a save here. Thank you. That's a little bit of an ego boost. Another save. I'm passing it out because that's just what I do. Massive. All right. Okay. You know what? We are we are back in this thing. I get this is probably tough to watch, but you know what? We got to struggle. It builds character. Can you imagine first year you just enter the league, go get like five shutouts, win the Stanley Cup? That'd be cool and all, but I mean, it'd be hard to top that. I don't actually know. And just like that, we are even strength. Back to the point. Down low. Okay. I feel like I was tracking that one quite well. And that is something that I need to work on because tracking the puck has been a struggle for me so far. And as a goaltender, you kind of need to do that. Let's see it 9-1. Right back to that defenseman and he's going to send it home. I had it all chalked up in my head. And it didn't quite work out that way. I feel like I just kind of... Yeah, that's interesting. So you can like double tap the slide button. That's fire. Duly noted. Will I actually put that into play? Unlikely. But I'll try to remember. He's going to get it. Paterka. Why did I slide? Why did I slide? I don't know what is going on right now. But this is horrific. Cheeky little save that still somehow almost went in. No, no, don't you dare. That would have been a tough pill to swallow. It's going to take me a good, like, what, 27 episodes to shake off the ring rust? I think that's fair. Okay, I can't quite put my finger on what I'm doing wrong. But I'm doing something wrong, all right. You know what? I'm going to put some blame on the organization here. This is like the NFL. They draft a quarterback first overall, put them right in, and it doesn't really work out. I'm just saying. We even kind of have the Panthers' colors, you know? Like, I'm Bryce Young, and Connor Ingram is Andy Dalton. That is exactly... I ex Same, pretty much, is what I'm getting at here. Minnesota Wild, let's go. Just one win. Just a single one. I'm not asking for much here. I don't even want two. I just want one. Let's see how this first period goes. It is 2-0 for the Wild. It is 3-1. Sure. All right, you know what? Snap out of it. Give your head a shake. Be confident back here. Play calm. We got it. Brock Faber tries to carry it right up the middle. That was a ballsy decision, and it did not pay off. Okay. Great puck movement. They're all over us. That was insane. I know what the problem is. We got to turn these off. If that doesn't help, we turn off the controller vibration. And we should be on cruise control at that point. Yeah, passing that out. Okay, so I'm not going to sit here and say like I'm blameless. I am absolutely doing a lot of things wrong. Three of the goals in the last game, which is insane to say because we only played the third period. Were all me. Didn't matter about overall. But... I do think that once we go up in overall, it's going to make quite a difference. And also once I just stop being trash. Let's go, Logan. Good pass. Oh, great shot of flowers all over it. Marc-Andre Fleury, a true National Hockey League goat. Change my mind. 
Actually, don't even try because you can't. Here's Hartman. He's not going to go for the shot. I was so confident that he was. But I think our defender took the other player anyway. So he knew what he was doing. That is an ouchie. Holy smokes. But you know what? Take the hit to make the play. We are only down by one. You might have a severe concussion, but at least in regular season game, like, 34 or whatever this is, we're only down by one now, so it's definitely worth it. Ooh, so I just heard the commentator say that his name was Michael Carson. I was under the impression it was Carcone. Now I'm curious. Stay square to it. Nice. Didn't end up getting it through. Who are you? You want to go? Speaking of going... I think we should. Yep, here we go, and our first fight is going to be against Flower. I'm so sorry. Is it still the same fighting system? Looks like it. All right, buckets come off, and the fists get thrown. Boom. Okay, we're off to a great start here. Oh, we dodged it. Ooh. Yeah, not going to be able to take down a vet like Marc-Andre Fleury with ease. Okay. Ooh, I'm doing what Jordan Bennington could not. Throw the punch. There we go, uppercut, and nice little dodge. We're still not looking good here. I need one more dodge, yes. No! This is right down to the wire, what a scrap. An unbelievable first fight, and we come out on top. We're undefeated. Just put the belt on, just put it on. Whoever said you can't be an enforcer and a goaltender? I didn't. We'll take luck at this point, absolutely. If you want to sprinkle a little bit of that in, I'm all here for it. Nice little glove save. See, as soon as we turn off the adaptive things, it's easy. You just put the game on easy mode. What a spectacular save. Run it back. Just try it again. There's no way he doubles up with that kind of save. Tries for a slap shot. I will give that to Dursey, which was a terrible idea, evidently. 140 remaining. We are still down by one, and we are going to rob Boldy. Okay, maybe I should be slightly more careful with passing the puck out. I don't want to be, because Whistle's not a friend of this guy. But if it is going to result in a goal 90% of the time... Oh, no. Oh, no. Get there before he scores. Yes, he missed. That is a massive... Massive miss for us. We got to the bench. If they score, no longer our fault. And they do. Well, there's some good news in that. They fixed the goaltender pulling thing because in last year's Be a Pro, he'd be down by one goal. Two minutes left. Nothing. Minute 30 left. Nothing. Minute. Nope. And guess what? Period ends. Game over. You lose. Goaltender never got called to the bench. Great play by 2-5 breaking that up. Could have been a buzzer beater. Wouldn't have mattered. But a confidence booster, perhaps. Oh, 7 and 2. At this point, it's actually just becoming comical. Road to a win. Those are the levels, currently. It's revenge tour time against Macklin Celebrini. First period, 1-1. One, one. That is fine, and it was Macklin that scored. Second pe- Well, what can you do? Let's get an early save here. Again, a confidence booster that we need. Okay. Well, that did the exact opposite of what I was hoping for. All right, tough guy. Let's mix it up here a little bit. Clayton Keller goes behind the net. Doesn't matter because that goaltender is meeting me at the blue line. I think you should do some skating drills. And... Boom. There it is. Good start. Okay. Nice. Are we just going to go for a 100% here? Is that what's happening? Do it again. He got me. He did get me. But doesn't matter. He might have won that battle, but we are... Are we winning the war? I don't know if we are. <laughs> okay. He's going to punch. No. That's crazy. We might not have the best save percentage, best record. But I'll tell you one thing for free. We are going to have the most penalty minutes for a goaltender. What's with this purple thing? I don't even know what that means. And we've got two of them. Let's see if ours is better. Win that face off. And he does. Good shot. And I thought he wasn't going to pass it out again. My levels of upsetness would have increased drastically. 
Macklin goes in front. Thank you, Marino, for being there. And he tried to thread the needle. Could have sent our guy. But if we haven't done any breakaway drills, not confident we would have scored any who. So far, this has been one of the most humbling experiences. Very demoralizing, in fact. Just gets to walk right out. Just a walk in the park for Tyler. We're getting good shots. We are. The other goaltenders are just playing better than me. It is that simple. Are they also 30 overall better than me? Yeah. Thanks, Tutu. Not sure what the general consensus is on these San Jose jerseys, but I'm a massive fan. Like, these look gross out there. Yeah, get around them. I like it. Point shot. Nobody in front. We got to get some screens going. Goaltender saw that the whole way. For me, it wouldn't make a difference. I could see it the whole way. It'll still go in. This is terrifying. Just sit here and be safe. They picked it up. Went off of Bortuzzo, which honestly might have helped us. We're doing so good. Oh no, the coach is fuming. You know what? I've had it as well, actually. Send me down. I will go to Tucson. All right. At this point, you cannot make this up. And we get pulled. Don't blame him. I know I hate making promises in this game, but I at least like half promise you that this will get better. It's not even like we're getting a lot of offense. Cooley has 23 points in 32 games, 20 in 32. So I'm not like the sole point of failure. Am I a good chunk of it? Yes. Matthews is going sicko mode, 64 points, 37 goals in 34 games. That is actually ridiculous. Jakey O, 18 wins. Same with the cord. Same with Wall. 914 for Wall. And then these two both have a 909. Roman Yossi is currently the only defender going off. 43 points in 33 games played. Kale McCard nearly point a game. I know it's been real tough, but there are brighter days ahead. Thank you guys for watching and tolerating this. If nothing else, maybe some comedic relief with how brutal this is. I appreciate you and I'll see you soon.